minutes to another distinguished member of our Ways and Means Committee, Mr. Blumenauer of Oregon. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Thank you. I appreciate the gentleman's courtesy. We're watching the harsh reality of governing without any meaningful Republican participation. It would have been an opportunity as we were moving forward, if we were actually legislating and people were part of the party, to be able to have zeroed in on some of these things. I personally am absolutely committed to deal with the SGR problem. This is a step forward to deal with it. It's not as good as what we had passed earlier in the House. But it's interesting that our friends just took a hike, decided to be negative. One of the best examples is their hypocrisy or willful ignorance as it comes to the stimulus. I talked to hundreds of people who were here in town, and I'm sure some of them made it to Republican offices in the construction industry fly-in, who were thankful for the investment of the economic recovery package that kept people working in construction. Not just the thanks from teachers, firefighters, energy industry, who are benefited from the jobs that have resulted from that, but they heard that particularly from infrastructure if they cared to listen. I find a certain amount of uh, disingenuous argument here when people are talking, well, we can't use emergency funding to help unemployed people in America. It should instead be funded by raising taxes or cutting programs. These are the same people that funded billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars, year after year after year in emergency spending for the war in Iraq, which was absolutely foreseeable, predictable, and they put that off the books. But when it comes to Americans unemployed, well, all of a sudden then we want to be more stringent. Last but not least, I appreciate what is done with the committee in terms of infrastructure. The Build America bonds, lifting the caps on sewer and water financing that will put people to work. Uh, is this a perfect bill? No. But I think it's an important step forward. It keeps the principles moving and it ignores the hypocrisy that we're hearing on the other side of the aisle. I strongly urge a yes vote. Mr. Speaker, how much time is remaining?